Good morning, dear friends. Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, we meet on this new day. And before we begin, let us listen to God. His voice through His word. I am going to read to you a passage from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 11, verse 7. Where Jesus is talking about John the Baptist. He says here, as John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Now Jesus Christ's elevation of John the Baptist. That is the title of this meditation. One of the things Jesus Christ stated was that John was not a reed swayed by the wind. He was referring to John's righteous character and his reputation as a preacher who refused to compromise his conviction. His determination not to dilute the commandments nor lower its standard to make it readily acceptable to his listeners. He declared the truth of God's righteousness without a fear of others, never yielding to popular opinion. Today's preachers are uh, trying to learn and understand what people want. And then they come and serve whatever people want. As a result, we are bringing up a generation of believers who are superficial and whose roots are not uh, going deeper into the knowledge of God's word. That is the problem when you begin to get the feelings of people and then preach according to what they want to hear. The Jewish authorities and religious leaders of a Jewish nation ignored the sin of a King Herod silently. They, the teachers and the preachers of the scriptures, thus became men pleasers rather than God pleasers and God honoring. Remember, if you are a servant of God, your first business is to please your God who called you. And then honor him by declaring his truth as it is revealed to us in the, in the, in the Bible. And this we shall not ignore. It was, John's way was quite different. You know, men like John the Baptist shall be targeted by others and become victims of their anger and their pride. John never sought the favors from such people. John rose against the hypocrisy of the rulers and leaders as a rock showing absolute fidelity to God and to his word. He refused to compromise. He stood with God against sin even though it cost him his life. You will read how he lost his life in the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 14 verses 1 to 12. Why did he lose his life? Because he stood with God for his righteousness, for God's standard and without showing any sympathy for those who sin against God's principles. If your commitment to truth 
and the righteousness is so firm that you devote your life to provide and to protect and encourage such ministers and prophets, then your reward will be the same as that of such prophets and ministers. At the same time, one should not support, encourage or cooperate with ministers who do not proclaim God's truth according to God's standard and according to uh, the New Testament revelation or God's holy standard or do not live a godly lives according to God's ways. Supporting and encouraging such ministers will bring one into their condemnation. Never forget that. We are going to share their guilt and therefore their condemnation if we support such preachers and teachers who teach us a diluted, compromising teaching of the Bible. And so do not partake of their guilt, which is very, very dangerous. And if you read the second letter of John, John wrote this one chapter letter to warn God's faithful people about extending uh, hospitality and greetings and support to traveling ministers or prophets who departed from the apostolic truth and, uh, and uh, propagated false teachings. We need to be careful. We should not just listen but also examine whether what you heard from such prophets and evangelists and teachers is in conformity with God's revealed truth given us in God's word. And God's people help spread their error, thereby share their guilt. And you should not be guilty of uh, supporting and propagating these false teachings by encouraging and supporting and welcoming such preachers. Today, there are many deceivers and uh, false teachers perverting God's truth and His word and misleading many to accepting their teaching. And they have a subtle way of uh, presenting their ideas, their opinions, their false teachings, in order to trap people and uh, deceive them and uh, bring them into supporting them. There are such false ministers who have a perverted view of Christ. They are not sure that Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. Today there are world famous pastors and preachers. And from behind their pulpits they declare very positive thoughts. And they, 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 instead of declaring the revealed the truth of God's word boldly and correctly without compromising. They dilute it to the extent that it will sound like another gospel altogether. And you and I need to be able to distinguish between what is right and what is false. Otherwise, we will be deceived, my brothers. They believe such people 
who who do not know that who do not declare boldly that Jesus Christ is the only way such a people believe that there are good people in other religions and uh, 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 loving god will not uh, judge them and send them to hell that is what they believe they believe that there are so many good people in that religion in this religion and in this way but they are not christians do you think god will send them to hell well you need to read god's word god is the final judge and that final judge has to declare concerning this what you read in god there is no name under the sun among men by which people can be saved except the name of the lord jesus christ and there are so many verses like that i am sharing these things to warn you of the danger of listening and of following such preachers john in his letter strongly tells us do not welcome such ministers in our homes read that chapter that one chapter letter this is what it says for this believers life need to be rooted like a tree strong firm tree rooted and then grounded that gives us the picture of a building with a strong foundation and so your knowledge of god's word has to be rooted and grounded in god's word unchanging eternal word of god cling on to it believe it believe the whole truth without hiding anything declare it and please you are god amen and for this may the holy spirit gives you grace and i pray that you shall be a bold declare a preacher of the gospel of jesus christ the gospel of not your own making or someone else's making but the gospel hand or handed over to us by the lord jesus christ himself and through his apostles and prophets believe it and propagate it god bless you as you do amen